What is the one power, the one power for which this doesn't work? Negative 1. 1 over x. Surprisingly, I'm still surprised by it. 1 over x comes from log. It's the derivative of natural log. So when you see 1 over x, that changes the whole ball game. That's different. So we'll deal with this separately. And it's still surprising how all powers give another power, and then somehow a log miraculously sneaked in to this table. Aren't you guys surprised by that? I'm still surprised by it and don't quite have a good explanation for how that happened. Have I really managed to make it difficult? No, I don't think so. Oh, but I have a rant. I'm going to go on a rant. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. So you would all agree with me that the answer is 13, 14, natural log of x? Yes. Yes. Plus c? And I know that some of you may be about to object because of what they learned in high school, and there's just something that I strongly disagree with as a way of approaching integration. Who has seen this sort of thing with an absolute value of x? Yeah, so forget about that. That's the silliest thing in the world. That's a device to make this expression valid for both positive x and negative x. Because the log, the natural log is not defined for negative x, which, means, which makes this kind of a formula less than universal. It would work if you're concerned with a positive range, but it won't work if you're concerned with a negative range. And I say to this, worry about it later. If you're working on some problem that deals with the negative range, well, then you'll revisit what you did and you'll put in log of minus x. Right now, we're focused on integration. Yes, putting in the absolute value makes it technically more universal because it works for both positive and negative x. So in that sense, it's maybe slightly more correct, but it's just not worth the ugliness of the, absolute fun of the absolute value function, which is one of the ugliest functions in the world. It's one of the most utilitarian and useful functions in the world, but it's also the ugliest function in the world. That's number one. And number two, it's just a distraction. We're trying to master integration technique. We don't want to be concerned with technicalities of this works on this particular range versus that particular range. Math is full of these technicalities that you have to take care of it for any specific problem. Boy, this is a square root of x. It only works for positive x. What do I do about that? Oh, it's only, uh, what's another example? Sine. It only works for numbers less than 1. Well, what if x is greater than 1? You always have to worry about these caveats in special cases. It's true. So why do it in some cases and not others? So I say let's focus on integration and not worry about the darn absolute value. So they're forbidden in this class. Forget about absolute values of x. The antiderivative of 1 over x is log of x. And if one of these days you come up with a practical application where x is negative, you'll just write log of minus x and you'll be fine. <laughs>